Today, I'm showing you some basic sewing machine maintenance that should be done regularly, including how to oil and clean your machine. You'll need your machine's manual, a screwdriver, a lint brush, and oil made specifically for sewing machines. These last three items came with my machine in the compartment near the bobbin. A can of compressed air is optional and in many cases not recommended, and a soft scrap of fabric is handy as well. First up, you want to remove your machine's needle, just so you don't get stabbed. In fact, many professionals recommend replacing your needle when you're performing maintenance anyway. Next up, take off the throat plate by unscrewing the two screws holding it down. Use the lint brush to remove all of the buildup. Sweep toward you, flicking the gunk out of your machine, not into it. You can use the compressed air here, but again, you want to spray the lint out of the machine, not into it, which is why most professionals don't recommend using canned air. Just keep sweeping until all the lint is gone. You also want to remove the bobbin and bobbin case and clean the lint there. Refer to your machine's manual as to how to remove the bobbin case, and if you don't have your manual, you can likely find a PDF copy of it online. It's really important to have your manual for the next part, oiling your machine. Every machine is different and only your manual can tell you exactly where to place the oil. My contemporary Singer needs oil on just one spot, but some machines require more. Finally, replace the parts you took off, including adding a fresh needle. Next, I'm taking the cover off my machine and giving it a light dusting, which is optional. In fact, I don't recommend it if you're klutzy and prone to breaking things. Finally, I'm running a piece of scrap cloth between the tension discs and covering it all back up. Don't forget to sew a couple of test stitches before your next project just to make sure everything got reassembled properly and that there's no spilled oil hanging around. Thanks for watching Spool School. If you liked this video, I appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button. And for more sewing, craft, and DIY videos, please subscribe.